Okay, guys, this is going to be the demonstration for the touch of color assignment, uh, other times known as uh, splash of color as well. What I'm going to do, I have a picture here that doesn't have a lot of extreme colors. You know, it has, you know, beachy themes here with the blues in the background and then the trees um, and also sandy things. What I'm actually going to do is, is my son Colson here. He has some color on him. I want to have him be in color, but I'm going to desaturate everything else. And when I, how I want to do that, again, a lot of the same principles I'm just going to glance over is going to be found in, uh, I guess would be found in the monochrome demonstration. But how I want to select him, I'm just going to use, in this case, the magic, right here it is, the magnetic lasso. All right? And what the magnetic lasso does, it actually be able to click to objects and things that have different colors. So I'm just going to make sure he is selected. I'm just going to go around everything in his area there. Oops, and come back here. Just make sure it picked up with his skin color and and uh, sand being similar. Sometimes a little bit of difficulty. You just go up here around his hat area. And I'm just going to click on this guy, highlight him, all right, and make sure that he is all selected. All right. Again, just run around here. And this is a really nice tool because it's quick and easy to click around different areas. Uh, that had the difference there. All right, so I'm just going to finish this guy off and click around it where he is all selected. Now he is selected, but what we actually want is everything else in the photo to be selected. So with him being selected, the object that you want to be color, the select, I go select, and I'm going to go inverse, select inverse. And what that does, you may not see it, it actually selects everything else in the photo, not him. So with everything else selected, now I'm going to go then into image, adjustments and desaturate. Image adjustments desaturate. Remember that turns everything else in black and white. Now I'm just going to go ahead here and I'm going to zoom out so you're able to see that the photo itself. Now everything in this case is black and white except for him. And do the same thing we did in the monochrome. I'm just going to make a duplicate layer. All right, hit OK there. I'm going to make this layer overlay and change the opacity to right around 50%. Right? And if I close that off, you can see the difference there that it has. Again, trying to get the blacks blacks and the whites white. Okay, so along with that, I'm going to go layer, and I'm going to actually hit new adjustment layer. Exposure, and just have the exposure. Here is all the sliders. I'm going to actually take the exposure back a little bit. If you go up, it'll make it brighter. I know to back it off a little bit because it was a bright day. You can mess with the, the offset again, gamma. I'm going to increase that a little bit so I get some of the blacks, black, a little darker area there. Just And what that does, when you increase the whites and the blacks, this makes the color stand out even more. So I have that situated there. I'm also going to make a new adjustment layer and change the brightness and contrast. In my photo, there's not too many whites. So I'm actually going to increase the brightness, and that's going to make some of the clouds and some of the trim around the window stick out white and also increase the contrast in this case, not too much. And again, a real quick way to add touch of color in with that. Uh, one other quick example that I want to show, and again, I'm just going to open up another picture here. Just open with Photoshop. Uh, another touch of color. Here's another one that has some color. And what I want to do as well is these little pom-poms on, on her hat is what I want to leave in color and change everything else to monochrome. We could use a magnetic lasso, but there's also a quick selection tool here. And if I click on the quick selection tool, it actually clicks everything that's about that same color. And I can click through here, and I get all of that selected. I'm going to click on, in through this area as well, just to get some of that. On this side, same type of concept, the quick selection. I'm going to click everything in this area. Now, if you notice, down through here, I have a little bit of the green showing through. I'm going to click my Alt button on my quick selection and see how it turns into a minus. Normal, it's a plus. Hit the Alt button, it turns into a minus. So with the Alt button selected, that's going to actually deselect some of those colors in there. So if I can click on that guy and get that selected. All right, deselect the color that we don't want. And there's also some in here with her zipper I'm going to actually take out. All right, and that section inside of there, and a little bit of her hair that's shining out. Now again, with everything selected, I want to select the opposite. So again, I'm going to go to the select, and then inverse, select inverse. And notice how now it's selected everything around my photo, and everything is selected except for those little pom-poms. Again, I'm going to go then to image, 
adjustments, desaturate, and that gives you an example of what it looks like. There's not really whites, whites, or darks, darks. So again, I'm just going to make a duplicate layer. Let's hit OK. I want to make it overlay. So I have that. Again, I'm just going to make it right around 50%. Slide around there. Okay. Again, you can just see the difference that that does. I'm also going to make an adjustment layer. Talk about with the exposures here. All right. Again, you have the slider bars. All right. As you back it off a little bit or increase. I love that you can see what you're actually doing. All right. and what I'm going to do is actually leave it pretty close here. This gamma correction, I'm going to slide it this way. What that actually does is help take the shadows that are out around some of the hoods that we had on. It takes out some of the shadows. Okay, offset. You see if I move it one way or the other. I'm actually going to leave that pretty even. And again, I'm going to do one another adjustment layer. Same type of thing as brightness and contrast. I hit OK. Now with the sky being in the background that it is, if I increase the brightness, so that really brightens up everything. So I really don't need to increase that. You can decrease it a little bit. In this case, I am going to decrease it a little bit. And I'm going to increase the contrast aspect. Again, to get some of the dark blacks that are in the photo, but also the white in the hats and that type of thing. Increase that as well. So again, that's how you would do your touch of color.